Hello, my friends. Thank you very much for subscribing to our channel. M is equal to 7 to the power of twice n plus 7 to the power of n plus 1 minus 7 to the power of n and plus 5. Would you like to prove that, for any natural number n, n must be divisible by 12? Why not give a try, and we will come back soon. While addressing a problem related to divisibility, we would like to first consider factorization. There are 7 to the power of twice n, and 7 to the power of n plus 1, which easily reminds us of the perfect square formula, because 7 to the power of twice n is actually the square of 7 to the power of n. 7 to the power of n plus 1 is 7 times 7 to the power of n. We also have a term of minus 7 to the power of n. As a result, we have 6 times 7 to the power of n. In order to apply the perfect square formula, we write 6 as 2 times 3. Then we need another term of the square of 3. So we add it. And there is also a term of 5 in the original formula. The difference is 4, so we subtract 4 at the end. This becomes the square of 7 to the power of n plus 3 minus 4. 4 is the square of 2, so we can apply the formula for the difference of square. 3 plus 2 equals 5, and 3 minus 2 equals 1. Once this factorization is done, we will have several ways to complete the proof in the following. For instance, we can write 7 as 6 plus 1. Then apply the binomial theorem. If we bring it into the first factor, except for the term of 1 to power of 1, all the other terms are divisible by 6, and 1 plus 5 is also divisible by 6, so the first factor is divisible by 6. The case of the second factor is simpler. 7 to the power of any nature number must be an odd number, then plus 1 must be an even number, so it must be divisible by 2. Then their product must be divisible by 12. Another easy way is to use mathematical induction. In fact, even when n is equal to 0, m can also be divisible by 12. But since in the problem, only natural numbers are mentioned, we start it with 1 rather than 0. When n is equal to 1, the two factors are 12 and 8 which are divisible by 6 and 2 respectively. If n is equal to any natural number k, the first factor is divisible by 6, and the second factor is divisible by 2. Then let's take a look at the case when n is equal to k plus 1, whether we can still infer that, they are divisible by 6 and 2 respectively? The first factor becomes 7 times 7 to the power of k plus 5. We divide 7 times 7 to the power of k into 7 to the power of k and 6 times 7 to the power of k. 7 to the power of k plus 5 is divisible by 6, and 6 times 7 to the power of k is certainly also divisible by 6, so this whole factor must be divisible by 6. The case of second factor is naturally simpler, where it is easy to get that, it must be divisible by 2, no matter if we split it into two parts or not. So the final result must be divisible by 12. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.